don't understand evolution, and I have to protect my kids from understanding it. We will not give in to the thinkers. You people are as loud as you are ignorant. Now get back on your turnip trucks and go home. That is an insultingly accurate stereotype, sir. Brace for emergency landing. Roger that. Activate safety spheres. Also, mine has air conditioning. We can still save Earth. People are sure to clean up their act when presented with cold, hard facts by rational folks like us. The end is near. Repent thy sins. The so-called common cold, introduced by living fossil Philip J. Fry, is spreading out of control. All citizens are advised to wash their hands thoroughly after beating up Philip J. Fry. Whew. Lucky I'm safely locked up here with you guys. There he is! Get him! Ow! Ow! I may be just a simple delivery boy with no superpowers, so there's nothing I can do. Okay. <laughs> so, give me your honest praise. Fry, I've now seen two comic books, so listen to me. Why should I care about the hero when all he does is cry? <laughs> it's an honor to meet you, Leonardo. And may I say, you were great in Titanic. The beach? Eh. That's Leonardo DiCaprio, you blockhead. Oh! <laughs> Looks like eating rocks wasn't as dumb as you said. No, they did it! They blew it up! And then the apes blew up their society, too! How could this happen? And then the birds took over and ruined their society. And then cows. And then, I don't know. Is that a slug, maybe? No! Bender's right. Kill it before someone names it. No! Mr. Peppy just wants to be our friend. Oi. Look, I know he's ugly and kind of corrosive, but we can't murder someone just because he's hideous and annoying. That's what we said about Zoidberg, and look where that got us. Amy has a point. Mr. Peppy's not like Zoidberg. He's my friend. Oh. Uh... Hey, look at me! I'm the tidy ball man! I own a yacht, and everybody poops on me! Help! <laughs> <laughs> ah! <Tell> please! <laughs> Catastrophe Beach Party, scene one. Cue disaster effects and action. Cut! That extra look to the camera, we'll have to do it again. Zoidberg, show some respect. This is a sacred shrine to the thousands who lost their lives. Hey, I found a safe! It's coming loose. Hand me some more of that cruise director. People call our star witness, Mr. X, whose appearance will be altered because he's in grave danger. Oh! Bender, I've been looking for you! Which cake do you like better for our wedding? Bender. Yeah, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it! Whew, that was close. I'm processing so fast, it's like I can anticipate that the ceiling fan's gonna fall and knock Zoidberg unconscious. Wrong, Mr. Genius. Not that young fan. Oh! I'll think it over while I engages this $5 hooker. Don't do it! It's not worth it! Okay, make it $3. Yuck! I don't want no $3 hooker. I'm going back to the adult's bookstore. Adult bookstore? I thought this was the public library. No, pubic library. Holy crap! It's a giant space fish! Actually, the space whale isn't a space fish. It's a space mammal. Wow, interesting. I'm both impressed and being eaten. <laughs> There's 60% scale replicas in me. Bender. Does that mean they only do 60% of the work you do, or that they actually do more work because they're only 60% as lazy? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> That's a good one. I do want you to kill me, but I mustn't see it coming. That would be agony. So you must murder me completely by surprise. As God is my witness, you can count on me. Well, see you tomorrow. Not surprising enough. 
guess I better head over to my night job. You have a night job? Yep, it's exhausting, but I need the extra money to buy coffee so I can stay awake for my night job. But... Gotta go. Mom? Dad? Come home, Amy. It's your decision. We can't make you. Ah, yeah! that girl. Uh-oh. Not the innocent whistling. Repent. Oh, this guy. <laughs> Screw the quarantine. I'm out of here. Initiate containment procedure. Oh. Ah. Ow. Oh. Come on now. Bender, wait. While you can still calculate the future, just tell me, what's going to happen with me and Leela? There's no time now. <gasps> Quick, Zoidberg, take three steps to your right. Oh. <laughs> hey, Mr. Perfect, you wet the chair. Huh? Oh, it wasn't me. Must be some of that urine you're all so proud of. That's not urine. It's oil. Impossible. I'm triple sealed to prevent any chance of... <laughs> You call that an ink defense? Ah! Goodbye, friends.